Hey, how's it going, guys? Tech Talk. All right, another Tech Talk. Let's give it a check here. This time, I'm going to talk about another new solution on the P Series system, which is the single sign on with Google. So let's have a look. This feature, the configuration is pretty easy. What you're going to do there is you're going to jump into the system as the super admin, and you're going to go check on integrations. Right on this interface, you click on collaboration and you will see the new solution we have here is the Google single sign-on. Well, about that solution, I guess this is nothing new, right? If you just care about the security enhancement, and also you want to simplify when you try to access the system, especially for individual users, we really use the single sign-on. So this time, we figure out the integration with Google Workspace, and uh, next time, all your users, your groups on your workspace will be synchronized on the PBX, and uh, more importantly, every single one of our users, if they got the permission, they can try to use the Google single sign-on. That's what it is. And uh, back on my interface, let's have a look. So this integration on the PBX side, pretty simple. You will get the redirect URI, you know, something like that on our PBX. Copy that information, we're gonna use it later, and then we will access our Google workspace. Of course, you're gonna log into your Google Cloud platform, and then you will create a new project, and on this new project, we're going to enable this particular one, which is Admin SDK API. And uh, yes, that's actually the place for us to get the authorization. And uh, over here, we're going to set up the branding configuration. And on that interface, that's the place for you to get the authorization. Uh, so we drop the information we get from the PBX. And later on, on this interface you guys can see here, we will get this client secret client ID, that's the thing we need there. And we copy this information, switch it back to the PBX. And over here, you're gonna drop this client ID, client secret, check on save. That's how you're gonna make it work. And after that, you will simply need to, you know, you got the Google ID, I mean the Google Cloud Platform user ID, right? So you set up this user, I mean the email address with one of your users and uh, this is how it looks. Let me show you. This is just how it looks. For example, on this interface, this is the super admin account, but I'm not going to access the system as the admin. I'm going to jump in as an extension user. So I will click on this single sign on. And over here, I'll select my Google account. Here we go. That's how it looks. And now I'm going to jump into the system as extension 1036. And also, you can see the user account is my Google account. That's how it looks. And uh, sure thing. So this is how we're going to use the single sign-on. Something else we can do there is once you figure out the integration, switch it back to extension list. If you already figure out the synchronization from your Google account and all your users on this platform, you will see this, guys. Check on this little icon. That's your Google account. So this is the user synchronization. Whatever you have it there on your Google platform will be synced here. And of course, as you roll, if you're trying to set up a new extension user on your Google Cloud, I mean Google Workspace, that information will also be synced here. So you don't have to create another extension on your PBX. It will be way much easier. So anyway, this is the new feature we're talking about with this new Tech Talk. Uh, don't forget to give it a try. This integration, pretty easy. And uh, trust me, it'll give you a way better user experience.